Time to maiden the Sky Surfer X9. Fly with imagination. It's a curvy looking little plane, very similar to a Bixler 1 size, uh, but 100 grams lighter, so it's going to be more of a floater. It has a chubbier fuselage, a lot more space in there for batteries, flight control board if you want it, FPV gear. Should be interesting. Under cambered wing, so it's going to be quite a glider. With the 2200 3S, the CG is at 60 millimeters back, which seems about right for me for the 190 wing cord. Thanks to my mate Alan Moore for the CG spots. Should do a glide test first, I suppose. Let's do that. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Really nice. So stable. A bit chilly. We've got about 10 knots wind from the southeast. Pity the sun's not out. Now, because this is such a lightweight, all up weight is about 700 grams with the 2200 3S in it. I think this is going to be a really good learner's plane because you're going to be able to fly it really slowly. Oh, beautiful. Virtually fly hands off. This is really nice. Super stable. It's on a third throttle, that's going to fly around easily. Oh, look at that. Okay, this is going to be one of the best beginner's planes around. Stable, self correcting almost. Slow flyer so easy to control. Probably not as tough as the Bixler, uh, but that reduction in weight means that it's not going to crash as hard of course. This is seriously a very, very smooth plane to fly. Okay, let's ramp it up a bit. Got a bit of speed about it too. Wow. This is cool. I really like the sort of swept back uh, flying fish look to it. The curvy wings and the whale tail horizontal stabiliser. This is, this is fantastic. Bit of wind there. Will be affected by the wind because it's nice and light, but it's got plenty of power to get through it. It's a rudder turn if you want it. I've so far just been, doing, been, been flying bank and yank and it's just doing that beautifully. Really low throttle percentage and it's just cruising around. Which of course makes it easy to catch. What a beauty. Definitely an alternative to the Bixler 1. Kind of different in that it's lighter and can fly slower. Uh, this is going to be great on the slope, I reckon. Okay, needs a camera on it. Oh, well, something I'm going to try first is... Uh, if a 1300 3S is going to work, that would make it even floatier. I'm going to put the CG back a fair bit, but we'll see what happens. So the CG is now right back on the servo wires, which is a, oh, almost 40% back. See how that goes. Going up nose up a little bit, but 
certainly doesn't seem to be tail heavy or anything. So 1300 3S. Ooh. This, this will be able to fly even slower. This is magic. Beautiful plane. Flying inverted, no dramas, because it's so light. Hello, very nice. Let's think about the negatives, if there are any really. It's fairly flexy, I suppose. There's no support for the wing right out here, but it is a lightweight plane, so it really doesn't need it. And the tail, there's no reinforcing in the tail. But again, don't think it really needs it. It's not flexing too much. As long as you don't bash it into the ground too much, it's going to be absolutely fine. The stickers on the wing out here were a bit wrinkled and peeling off, so I just pulled them off. Um, and I tend to just pull all the stickers off anyway and put my own colour scheme on there, but uh, the rest of them are okay. So this is quite a surprise. I have the CG right back on those servo wires with a 1300 3S in there, and that's flying perfectly fine. Uh, if you want more flight time, you can put a 2200 3S in there. Uh, I still have 50% battery just from the 1300 3S, so flight times are going to be pretty lengthy. I reckon you'd get easily 20-25 minutes with a 2200. It's more of a glider than the Bixler one for sure. It really glides beautifully. And that's due to its less weight, 100 grams less weight. No, actually with the 1300 it's going to be well, at least 150 grams less weight than the Bixler one. And the under cambered glider wings really make it a better glider and a better slow flyer. Motor's a bit noisy in the prop, may not be the best, I'm not too sure. It's a bit just sort of a bit whiny. And you can see you can actually put a bigger prop on there. Uh, so uh, but it's it's very good as it is. Beauty. 